Hello guys, welcome to Enlighten. Here you can watch videos related to inventions that change the world and of course some politics and geography related topics. Hit the subscribe button to watch new videos every other day. Of all the mad geniuses we have to thank for several centuries worth of coffee technology advancement, perhaps the person the vast majority of us owe the most gratitude to is a rather unlikely candidate. A housewife from Dresden, Germany. Specifically, the very enterprising, if maybe a little frumpy, Apfelstrudel baking mother of two Melita Bents, inventor of the paper filter. Today, her name is emblazoned across a food industry empire. Melita was born Amelie August Melita Liebscher on January 31, 1873. Her father was a book publisher, and her grandfather owned a brewery, though in her biography, there is no mention of her mother. Around 1898 or 1899, she married Johannes Emil Hugo Bentz, a small business owner in Dresden. They had two boys together Wiley and Horst, and their lives were pretty traditional, as far as early 20th century German families go. But that was about to change. When coffee first arrived in Europe around the 16th century, introduced by Muslim traders, it was mainly a drink for the wealthy. But by the late 19th century, coffee was available to both the rich and poor alike. Fairly quickly, Europeans started growing their own beans in their African and Caribbean colonies. Because of the Caribbean's proximity, coffee was actually more popular and cheaper in the American colonies. Soon, coffee equaled or even replaced tea as the hot beverage of choice in many parts of the world. Every morning, so the legend goes, Melita made her husband a cup of coffee. And every morning, after he departed for work, she slaved over the used brass pot, cleaning out the wet coffee sludge at the bottom. It was long and tedious work exacerbated by the fact that the family could not afford to buy cloth coffee filters, which were the standard filters of the day. One day, Melita had enough. She did a little kitchen experimentation and devised a rather ingenious solution. Taking her old brass pot, she punched holes in it with a nail in its pliable bottom. Then, she ripped a sheet of cheap blotter paper from her son's school notebook and lined the bottom of the brass pot with it. Next, Melita laid this contraption on top of a coffee mug, filled it with coffee grounds, and slowly poured boiling water over it. Boom, a makeshift coffee filter. But more than that, it was cheap, easy to clean and disposable, which also made them hygienic. Bence's paper filter became the go-to for her and her friends when brewing coffee. Soon, Hugo and Melita went into business together, patenting her invention on July 8, 1908, under the rather innocent title of filter top device, lined with filter paper. In winter of that year, the Benz couple opened a small office in their apartment to sell the disposable paper coffee filter, with a starting capital of only 72 Reichsmark cents, about 30 American dollars. The burgeoning company got a big boost in 1911, when it received a gold medal at the International Hygiene Expo, which was a thing for a few years, at least according to the Bulletin of the Pan American Union. By 1914, the company had over a dozen employees and was churning out paper coffee filters by the hundreds. Today, Melita is an international company that still specializes in coffee products. It notched 1,436 million euros in sales, about $1.6 billion, an increase of 8% from the year before. It's also still family-owned and operated, with the American headquarters now in Clearwater, Florida. All this is because Melita Bentz found a do-it-yourself solution to her coffee mess.